to the U.S. air base in Ramstein, Germany, where thousands of Afghan refugees have been taken. Their first step in starting a new life. ABC's Will Reeve is there giving us an inside look at the base. Will, good morning. Janae, good morning. Over 20,000 Afghan evacuees have come through here at Ramstein Air Base. And yesterday we got a tour of the base and an inside look at this extraordinary mission. This morning, a daring rescue mission underway as thousands of Afghans arrive at this Air Force base in Germany. Ramstein Air Base, a critical transfer point in one of the largest U.S. airlifts in history. Since the mission began, over 111,000 people have been evacuated from Afghanistan, including 5,400 Americans. This man fled Kabul alone in a harrowing journey. Taliban's attack everybody with sticks, with gun, with everything that they had on their hands, especially mine. They hit me with a stick, with the woods, and to my backs, and also they had a gun fires that. Uh, there was a spot in my hands. Is that a, that's a, yeah, yeah, that's this from is, a bullet? Yeah, 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 this is the bullet. Distraught families making the impossible decision to flee the place they once called home. We had no other choice. So we have to leave because our life was in danger. Uh, so we had to leave our country and uh, come here just because of our uh, children's future. Over 20,000 Afghan evacuees have come here to Ramstein. They go through medical processing here. There's a lot of waiting. They don't know when they're going to be leaving or where they'll be going, but the processing starts here. The humanity of it all is a weight to bear for the soldiers tasked with the Afghan safety. What's the emotional impact on you? Uh, it's a heavy burden seeing those uh, soldiers come off uh, that air medical evacuation airplane. It's a heavy burden seeing little babies that are, uh, you know, tired, that are crying, that are hungry, that are weary. And that's a heavy burden because the, each and every single one of those are my responsibility. Many evacuees here unsure of the future or what they've left behind. I feel deeply sorry, depressed about my family. You know, I haven't made any connection with them. I don't know whether they're, they're, they're safe or not. Officials here say that the base is almost at capacity, but they are still going through the process of trying to get as many folks out as they can. There were five flights out yesterday, another 10 scheduled for today, and they will keep processing everyone as they move them to their resettlement locations. Whip. Really get a sense of the human toll on the evacuees and the monumental task ahead. Let's turn now to ABC News Chief Global Affairs anchor Martha Raditz, who is also hosting this week later on this morning. Martha, good morning. It's always good to speak with you. You've been to Afghanistan many times over the course of this 20 year war. And now as the final hours count down, the U.S. Embassy issued another warning to stay away from the Kabul airport. President Biden saying another attack is highly likely in the next 24 to 36 hours. How would you characterize the magnitude of what's at stake here? It, it's almost impossible to characterize that wit. It, it is so enormous and the stakes are so high. And right now, think of the, the people who Will Reeve just spoke to. There are so many left behind. And in this very urgent evacuation with only two days left, they have this, this ongoing threat, a very, very serious threat, and, and basically telling people to stay away from the airport. So that will make it all that more complicated to get these last evacuees out. Uh, as you know, there are many, many efforts going on with former military, with former CIA, all of these people in real time that I've been watching uh, for weeks now trying to get uh, Afghan allies out of there before the Taliban takes over completely on Tuesday. We also know there are no plans really on September 1st on how to keep that airport open, making it even more complicated to get really those desperate, desperate Afghans out of there. Everybody literally counting down the hours and the minutes here. So later this morning, you'll be interviewing Secretary of State Anthony, uh, Anthony Blinken, who's faced criticism for his handling of all of this. A big looming question here is what happens after that August 31st deadline? You mentioned September 1st, but really what capabilities does the U.S. have if we still need to get thousands, hundreds of allies and Americans out of the country? You know, the administri administration keeps saying, look, they'll just keep putting pressure on the Taliban. They'll figure out a plan. But as yet, we haven't really heard what that plan is. There really isn't a plan in place. They're negotiating with people uh, to try to keep the airport open, to try to help the Taliban 
keep that airport open. Uh, the overland routes are almost impossible and incredibly dangerous. Uh, but this is all happening in real time. With they are just trying to figure out what to do next, and at the same time, with that huge threat. Yeah, and so much at stake. Martha Raditz, thank you again this morning. We appreciate it. Be sure to watch this week later on this morning. As we noted there, Martha interviews Secretary of State Antony Blinken about the race to evacuate Americans and allies from Afghanistan before that August 31st deadline. Plus, Dr. Anthony Fauci discusses the latest plan for coronavirus booster shots.